welcome to the Shelter Spotlight. My name's Heather and I'm your host. Today I have another wonderful volunteer for you guys to meet. Her name is Megan Boyle. Thank you for joining us today, Megan. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start off with the easy questions. When did you start volunteering at the Animal Shelter? Um, I started in October 2021. And my friend Rebecca was already volunteering there. She told me about it and I just got really interested. So I decided to join. Beautiful. What are some duties that you've taken on when you are at the animal shelter? So mostly um, when we get there, we clean their cages. We make sure that you know they have enough litter. Everything's very clean and tidy. We feed the animals. We play with them, socialize them. Um, some of the dogs are allowed to go on walks, so we take the dogs for walks or play with them in the side yard and really just kind of giving them the attention that they need because, you know, they're kind of cooped up there and they don't have a lot of interaction with humans, so. Do you typically work alone or in teams? We always work in teams. Um, usually my shift is about four people. They can range from two to like maybe as high as six. But they just see that that's like a way to be safe, especially, you know, with the dogs and cats, you never know. They're very unpredictable um, and just it's a great way to like break up the duties. When are your duties at the shelter? So I go Thursdays after work. Um, I'm a teacher, so I as soon as the bell rings and I can leave, I just drive um, from Holbrook and it's at four o'clock. So I just volunteer for that one day. But then whenever I can pick up shifts, I try to. With your time at the shelter, do you have any favorite memories? Yeah, um, anytime we get kittens, that's like the best. <laughs> they're very messy, but they're just so crazy and cute that I love it. Um, some other memories, I <laughs> one Easter, I think it was 2022, so I've only been there for a couple of months. We got 13 rabbits. So someone, um, I don't know which town, maybe it was Marshfield or somewhere nearby, just released a bunch of rabbits in a neighborhood. So the um, animal control officers brought them in and we were not prepared, but we we did it and it was crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Right. How do you take care of that many rabbits at the same time? <sighs> a lot of cleaning, <laughs> a lot, yes. <laughs> I'm sure, and rabbits aren't tiny either. No, they take so, up space, right? Right, yes, we need a lot of space. So we kind of created some pens. We even used some of the dog kennels that, you know, that weren't occupied, so. Wow. Yeah, we may do. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And so are rabbits typical at the shelter? Um, we usually might have like one or two. Since I've been there, there's always been at least one. Right now we don't have any. It's wow. mostly just cats and dogs. But every once in a while we'll get the odd pet like chickens, roosters, <laughs> birds. Um, I don't think we've seen many lizards or reptiles. <laughs> Have you fostered any pets? I heard that you may have some fostering experience. Yes, I did. I, um, I fostered four kittens in September and it was, it was quite the experience. I, I loved them and like as soon as I brought them home, I was like, all right, I cannot keep them. I can't keep them. I already have cats. Um, but it was, it was great. I loved them. I loved just like coming home and playing with them and yeah, I even named them. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. That's fun, too. I definitely cried when I dropped them off, but I knew that they were going to great homes. So That must be the hardest part, like letting them go. But everybody says as long as they know that they're going to good homes. Yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> but that must have been wild for kittens at the same time, though. Yes, it How did was. your other cats feel about that? Um, one ha wanted nothing to do with them, so we have we have to keep them separate mm -hmm. um, just because they're not vaccinated. So we kept the kittens in our guest room. Um, so one of the cats did not even go upstairs. She was like, nope, I'm not, I don't want anything to do with that. And then the other one really wanted to play with them. He just kept putting his paws underneath the door. Oh, <laughs> he's like, I know they're in there. Yeah. Do you think you've learned anything from your time volunteering at the shelter? Um, I've definitely learned that it's just like humans, animals can get sick and it can spread easily. So when I first started, there was some kind of virus going on with the cats and you had to be very, very careful of like, you know, changing your gloves, washing everything separately. So I know that like illnesses do exist for animals and they're treatable, but they can be very contagious. Wow, I obviously knew that pets could get sick, but I never knew about like contagion between cats yeah, and things like that. I know, yeah, wow. it's almost just like a cold, but 
it's yeah, easily spread. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. I'm learning yeah. something today. Um, so out of all the animals that have come through the shelter, have you ever had any favorites? Yes. So I ended up adopting one of them. He was a, an orange little tabby cat kitten. He came in seven months old and when he came in, he was in the quarantine room because he was a stray and had some kind of lung infection. He was, I think, eating slugs or something like that, which I can believe because he does eat everything in my house now. But um, yeah, he, he's my favorite. His name was Ringo, so now his name is Goku. And I decided to keep him. Awesome. <laughs> That's a great story. Yeah. Little souvenir. Yes. yes. <laughs> what is it that you enjoy about your work at the shelter? I just like, I love animals and I, if I could have a million of them, I would, but I can't. So I just, I love helping them and like giving back to the community and it's really, it's just like, it's stress free. Like I honestly, I look forward to leaving my job and going to the shelter and hanging out with them. What keeps you coming back to the shelter? I just, I think about them being you know, alone at the shelter and I, I just, I want them to have that human interaction and I want them to feel loved and get the attention that they need. So I think that's what keeps me going back. <laughs> Do you think a volunteer gets anything out of this experience? Definitely. Um, it definitely teaches you responsibility. I think it's a great idea if you're considering getting a pet just to kind of see what goes into the, you know, the daily life of feeding and cleaning and even we like administer medications. So I, I think it is important. It teaches you like empathy and patience because all animals are different. They have different personalities. Some, you know, they want to greet you and they want all of your attention and some you have to back off a little bit. So <laughs> why would you recommend that others should become a volunteer? I think it's just, it's a really easy way to give back to the community to help animals. Um, it's only about an hour out of your week and I think it's great. It's very rewarding and it makes you happy and it makes the animals happy. Beautiful. <laughs> well, that's all for the, today's episode of the Shelter Spotlight. We will see you next time. For more on the shelter, please visit the Friends online or contact Marshfield Animal Control.